Premier replied. In the name of God, the compassionate and the merciful, let thanks be given to God everywhere in the northern region of Nigeria for the blessing of self-government which we have received this day through his help and for the blessing of progress which has long been a feature of our lives within this region. In our prayers, let us also beseech Almighty God for continued and peaceful progress and for the furtherance of the prosperity and happiness of the people of this land. As I speak to you on this historic day, I am beset by many emotions. The emotion of gratitude. Gratitude to Almighty God that I have been spared to be of service to my people and to lead them towards this great event in our history. The emotion of humility, humbly conscious of my own limitations and of the pressing need for every one of us to give of his best now and in the future even more than we have done in the past. The emotion of pride. Proud that I and my colleagues have succeeded in the face of many difficulties in the aim of acquiring self-government as soon as it was practicable. And finally, the emotion of joy. Greatly rejoicing that I can share with all of you this day an immense feeling of relief and contentment at the successful outcome of our advance towards the creation of a self-governing northern region of Nigeria. But it remains for me to express our keen anticipation on May the 15th when we shall officially celebrate this day. We shall then welcome and be honored by the presence of their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester. We shall also welcome many high dignitaries, both from the United Kingdom and from other countries. Sharing in our celebrations, there will be present, in addition, many of the distinguished government officers who have served us long and so well in the past. On May the 15th, we shall not forget our young men and women in training overseas. Although they will not be with us, we shall most certainly be thinking of them. For on them, in years to come, will we rely for the successful attainment of our next objective. That objective I can see clearly before me now. It is to secure and improve the health, prosperity, and happiness of all our people without discrimination on grounds of tribe or creed. And finally, we establish our country in a position where it will be a model of progress, goodwill, toleration, and freedom, not only to Africa, but to the whole world. May God grant that his blessing shall always be with us in our endeavors.